Hello, I'm Command Master Chief Art Rivers, Assistant Head for Navy Uniform Matters. In 2003, Dan Sino, Admiral Clark commissioned Task Force Uniform, TFU, to perform a fleet-wide comprehensive review of Navy uniforms. TFU conducted a uniform satisfaction survey that captured over 40,000 responses from sailors representing every demographic. After TFU's review, they provided a number of new uniform proposals, one of which is a new service uniform for E6 below that can be worn year-round. In 2006, then CNO Admiral Mullen approved the E6 and below service uniform, which you will see here shortly. This new service uniform is developed of extensive research, testing, and fleet input. It included over 500 sailors participating in the six month wear test. The new service uniform will reduce a junior sailor seat bag by replacing the current summer white and winter blue uniforms. This video will provide a graphic description of how the uniform is intended to be worn as well as the uniform's basics and optional components. Fleet reaction to the uniform has been tremendously positive. It is represents a more professional appearance, offers versatility, ease of maintenance, cost effectiveness, and continues to recognize our naval heritage. Thank you for your time, shipmate. The Navy Exchange is currently stocking the new uniform. Associates have been trained on the fit and required components needed for each uniform. They will be able to help you obtain the proper fit and assist you with any other requirements you need to properly wear the service uniform. Male uniforms are a 75-25 poly wool blend. The shirt is khaki in color and the trousers are black. Both come in athletic or classic fit. Proper shirt wear is with all buttons fastened. Ribbons, warfare devices, identification badges, white t-shirts and name tags will be worn in the same manner as with wearing the winter working blue and summer white uniforms. Miniature silver anodized metal collar devices for personnel E2 through E6 are worn on the collar points of the khaki shirt. They should be centered one inch from the front and lower edges of the collar and positioned on the vertical axis of the insignia along an imaginary line bisecting the angle of the collar point. The trousers should fit comfortably on the waistline with the shirt tucked in. The seat area should have enough room to prevent the two side pockets from pulling open. After being hemmed, the trousers should hang to the top of the heel of the shoe. The front should cover at least the third eyelet of the shoe with a slight break. The trousers should be tailored to include a two-inch hem to provide sufficient material for future adjustment. The black cotton web belt worn by males has a silver buckle. Belts should be worn so that the silver belt clip end touches the left side of the buckle. Align the right side of the buckle with the opening of the shirt and opening of the fly, forming a straight gig line. Command belt buckles that are larger than the standard buckle will be worn centered with the clip end concealed. A black poly wool belt is authorized to be worn optionally. This uniform will only be worn with black service shoes. The garrison cap is of unisex design and black in color. The garrison cap is worn squarely on the head with the fore and aft crease centered vertically between the eyebrows. The forward end, lower edge of the cap, is approximately one inch above the eyebrows. Only petty officers E4 through E6 wear large metal rank insignia on the garrison cap. The large silver anodized metal cap device is worn on the left side of the garrison cap. The center of the device should be one and one half inches from the bottom of the cap and two inches from the forward edge of the cap. The eagle faces forward. The black relax fit Eisenhower style jacket, which is optional, should fit comfortably over the shoulders and chest. The jacket must be worn zipped up at least three quarters the length of the jacket. E4 through E6 personnel shall wear large metal rank insignia on each epaulette centered from side to side with the bottom edge of the device approximately three quarter inch from the squared end of the epaulette. The eagle's head shall be positioned towards the collar facing forward. Petty officers authorized to wear gold chevrons will continue to do so. This is the same size insignia as worn on the garrison cap. Patches and name tags are not authorized for wear on the jacket. The black pointed collar jacket is not authorized to be worn with the service uniform. If you have any questions, your initial point of contact should be your division work center or leading chief petty officer. Otherwise, for more information on uniforms and uniform policy, visit the Navy Uniform Matters website.